Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's learn how to create a white frame with a drop shadow on your videos. All right, shout out goes to Sasha Jokic, who is a film editor and VFX artist in New York City for coming up with this. This is not me at all. He, he figured this out himself after working through multiple choices, and then he reached out to me and uh, offered this to all of you. What a nice guy. He said, you know what? I bet you people would be interested. And the goal here is how to create, it, it almost looks like a photograph. Uh, I'll show you. It looks like a video with a white border and a drop shadow. This should be pretty simple. You'd think Premiere Pro has, oh, I don't know, a stroke setting in it um, and a crop setting. It doesn't, and to make this work, you have to go through a lot of backflips. There are four different versions of the ways that people do this, and um, this is the first one I've ever seen that's this good. Let's look at the first way that people try to do this. They use set matte and radial shadow. The cons are the outline is not proportional, so it's not even all the way around, and that's what really sells this effect. In a real photograph, a real white frame, it's the same size around all sides. And then the uh, effect that you're using, the RS anchor, is not in the right place, and, and if it's not in the right place, it won't be symmetrical, so you have to move things around. So let's look at the example. Obviously, this and this are different, so it doesn't look good. And what he's talking about with the eyeballing is, if we look at the radial shadow, there's a light source, and as you move this light source around, it changes the position of that. So you have to do a lot of eyeballing, and it really doesn't work that well. Okay, so let's look at the next version. White solid, cons, there's way too many layers, and scaling the white layer will make the outline not proportional, and mask expansion will make round corners. Oi, that's what's happening here. And maybe you like this, but obviously if you're going for a, a square or rectangular sharp edges, it doesn't work. But even if you go with this, you still now have to deal with two separate uh, things on the timeline every single time you want to move it because this white if I turn it off it disappears it's not part of that and that's what you really want you want an effect to work on one clip you move the clip the effects move with it you scale you rotate you position it's it's you're only dealing with one thing and let's look at this the mask expansion that he was talking about So you see it gets square there, and then it starts to turn round. Not good. All right, let's look at another solution. This is a partial solution. This is an opacity mask and transform and set matte with a negative expansion and a solid composite. The pros? Transform works and works with small masks. Cons? Drop shadow doesn't work. You cannot add a drop shadow to this. So this is using... Uh, I've got two different versions here, the small one here and the larger one. I'll just turn off the, uh, the small one right now. So there's the mask, and when you turn up the mask expansion, same thing, the mask starts to have round edges to it. So it doesn't work. And there is a drop shadow on here, but it doesn't work. And it doesn't work because the stack of effects have certain rules. And this is true for every program, that there are rules on how things are composited. And with this collection of layers, the drop shadow probably doesn't have an alpha channel to understand where to set and offset that. So here's the, his final solution. Solution is, and it's, it's quite a collection, it's transform, set matte with a negative expansion, solid composite, set matte, and then drop shadow. You know, the good thing is he shared his presets with me and I'm going to share them with you on videoreveal.com on our store so you can download those for free. But let's look at the result. There's transform at the top and transform is transforming that, the inner image. And then there's set matte. And here's what's important about set matte. 
If you set take mat from layer none, then the, it mats itself. A mat is just another way of, of saying mask. So with set mat, it's masking itself. And that's what you get here, the mask expansion, where you can chop that away. Next is the solid composite, and that's where the white is. That's showing up. To control that, there's a set mat second, again, also set to none. And there's the mask expansion. Of course, if you go too far, you'll get rounded corners. But if you just leave it at that default setting, you get sharp edges. And last but not least, the drop shadow works. And here's the best part. I'll select that, open up motion, change scale, change position, or freely move that around the screen like that. Everything is self-contained. The shadow works if I want. I can take the shadow and, and change the overall direction, which is what you'd expect, the distance and the softness. So you've got complete control over all of those elements and it's one clip. The only thing that's different down here is this color mat is giving you a background to show up on here. But everything in this effect is all within that layer stack of effects and it's one drag and droppable preset that you can drop on. Wow, pretty cool. Uh, I'm so happy that Sasha reached out and uh, shared this because this is a really common effect that a lot of people scratch their heads and they would never go through backflips and research and development as Sasha did to figure this thing out. I know I never would have, but that is a great solution. So like I said, this preset will be on videorevealed.com. Whoo, there you go. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, well, first of all, thanks, Sasha. And I'll have a link to his uh, amazing VFX work. And uh, you can also uh, uh, subscribe to the site because we're getting close to that magic number. Or you can jump on the videorevealed.com slash shop and you can donate once or monthly there. You can show us your love any way you want. There's a bunch of free stuff, including these presets that'll be there. Lots of great stuff and some things that you can buy. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I, I guess I'm the guy that people reach out to and say, hey, I've got something cool to show everybody. Why don't you show your viewers? And that's why I show you Sasha's cool trick. <laughs>